LRB Aquatic Shotgun. Hello world, how's it going? Hope you guys are all doing great. If not, I hope it gets better for you. Today I'm gonna share with you a little update on what I've put into this fry rack, what's going on with it. We may even go ahead and update some of the bettas or the uh, guppies I got. Now I have done a video where I showed how I built this system, so if you're curious on how I built this system, just check out my video playlist. Actually, I should make a playlist just for it. Uh -huh. Mike Wall says, I was jamming music and you came on over the speakers loud. Ha <laughs> ha, that's pretty cool. All right, so let's go ahead and check them out. So over on this side is mostly bettas and then I do have rainbow fish and we'll go ahead and look in the sump. So at the crystal reds, they're all doing pretty good in here. I've been keeping her around 140, 160 some TDS. Let's see, now I'm not seeing any buried, but there's actually a lot of buried females. Oh, here's one here. No, she's not buried anymore. Well, there was, where are they at? It could be in the rocks. She may have some eggs, but there are some, oh, there's one real nice buried. You can see the dark on her bottom there. So they're breeding out. Some fry have made it down here somehow. You can see a beta. That little dot over there is a bigger beta. Somehow I didn't have the sponge in it properly. So if you did get through. And then on this level is mostly all the Siam Aquas bettas. This has been Ben bettas. Blue and white one. This is a purple endo betta. Purple female. Kind of a rare color for a betta. A pale, male panda. We got the yellow koi. Another yellow koi. Uh, another. That's a female panda. Male panda. And another koi. Very pretty fish. Great jeans. You can see the tubs are getting nice and dirty. Getting the diatoms and film. I have been, uh, instead of dripping it as much, a lot of them I have been streaming it more. Like say like this, because all the uh, microorganisms like to eat off the biofilm and everything. How big are these tubs are about, I think they're around two liters or two and a half liters. So in here I've got Blythe River rainbow fish babies, itty bitty things. You can probably barely see them through this. I did have to make a little scraper. Where's it at? So this is my little window cleaner. I took a composite shim, cut a little piece of foam, used a GE silicone. Now I got a little scrubber. So that's nice. And uh, let's see, we got Blythe River rainbow fish in here. We've got the Goldie Ida Kai in here. There's one floating around there. More Goldie Ida Kai. There's actually somehow a baby, a uh, baby betta was in here. I don't know if it jumped from up here. I don't know how that's possible considering how small they are. I don't know, but that was pretty wild to find a betta in there. That's about the only way it could have got in there is if it jumped. And then the seven Nemo female. Which they did lay eggs, but um, I don't know. I don't know if he ate them or what happened, but I never did get any wigglers. Then there's the male fluttering big time. Hey, buddy. I should have brought my flashlight in here. I don't know if I have one in here or not. I kind of store everything on the side here. I didn't. I should have, though. That would have showed it off a lot more. And I use these little tags to write on, put a screw in there, and a little right on tag so i know what everything is like i know everything in the fish room but this is going to be changing a lot so it's good to label it so these are all purple pandas so these are the uh endo purple females and then a male panda should be interesting maybe get some uh purple pandas that would be wild uh mari rainbow fish more purple pandas alani waponga rainbow fish See them all darting back there. Then more purple pandas. You see, they're still pretty small. They got some size to be going. Been feeding them the good old tetracolor tropical granules. Uh, Pipon, 
uh, river rainbow fish. Those are pretty rare. Kind of look like an axle rod eye, but a little different. Uh, panda endo. So that's more of the purple pandas. Alani waponga. Panda betta. Amari. Panda betta. Panda betta. The custress. That's the turquoise rainbows. And uh, we got dwarf neon rainbow fish. Dwarf neon rainbow fish. Then up top still open, so I still got to mess with that. Then over here on the other rack, and I am wanting to build another rack. I think I'm going to tear down my problematic uh, stand that I have that I don't like in my garage and build another one there. Well, that guy is way down in that crack. He's moving. He's getting some good food down there. But this has the uh, galaxy... Caradenia shrimp. There's a boa in here and she had babies. So there are a couple babies in here um, There's a few in there. I don't know where they're all at right now. They're good at hiding since I got that rock pile But it's a nice little environment for them And yeah Then we've got Camp Psy rainbow fish. This is like a giant dwarf neon Kind of looks like a giant dwarf neon. You can see they got some pretty good size on them. They were actually growing up in a uh, shrimp tanks before I stuck them in here, and now I've been catching them at night. And Rue Twos, these guys have been in here for quite a while. These are Rue Two, a Rue Two, a Rue Two, a Rue Two. These are a uh, curry killifish baby. Those uh, just happened to drop some eggs in QT, and I just swooped them up. And uh, they grew up in there. Uh, Luminatus. This is Bomani, 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 Bomani. Melanotania, rainbow fish, Bomani. And then these are what I've been wanting for a long, long time. These are Glossolepis maculosus. These guys look like a lure fish. They're like green with these black spots and yellow in them. But that's all maculosis. And then these are golden white clouds that grew up from the pond. And then some elegans in there. Dwarf neon rainbow fish, dwarf neon rainbow fish, dwarf neon rainbow fish, dwarf neon rainbow fish, dwarf neon rainbow fish. These are either Pictas or Dwarf TI. I'm not sure, so they're question mark. Uh, these are Lux Luxo Panchex killifish. Now I got these from Wet Spot. And I had them in QT. They ended up having an issue. And I treated for the issue. The only problem is only one of the adults actually lived. But they did manage to breed out before they died. So I got a bunch of babies of those killifish. Really cool lamp-eyed type of killifish. These are more of the campsite here. Campsite. Now this is really exciting. These two, these three are super exciting. This came from my 125 upstairs when I quarantined, or well, these two, or no, these three. Yeah, these came from upstairs 125 when I got the wet spot order of Chopre Danios, Twin Eye Danios. I think that's a Chopre. It's kind of got some red in them. But then I also had mascara barbs and hill trout loaches in there. And if you look on, look, these guys kind of get a bigger size. Oh no, what, these are the camp size. But right here, I believe these may be mascara barbs. Because when I bred out the dock and see a, a sim, or a filamentosis, that's exactly how they acted. It was the behaviors, they stick to the side and everything. Which, if any of you guys been following me, I've been wanting to breed the Doc and Sia Assimilus for a long, long time. Bob Kaler, thank you so much for the super chat. I really, 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 really appreciate that, Bob. You are the man. So many fish, so little time, right? I know it. But thank you for your $10 super chat. Always appreciated. Your support has been tremendous. And then, yeah, more either of the Danios or something. Could be orange fin hill trouts. I don't know. I don't think that would be them. But I'm pretty sure these are mascara barbs. I thought they were pygmy chain loaches since they were the only thing left in it. And it took it quite a time for these guys to actually hatch and show up. And there's quite a few in there. So that's exciting. And then these may, these are Dora TI. 
Melanotania river fish, and then Melanotania parvas. These are the parvas, super red rainbow fish, very, very beautiful rainbow fish. And then the rest are open there. So that's what all I've got in the fry rack going on. So a lot of them are filled up right now. Still a little wiggle space. I think I need one, or I know I need another one. Maybe two more, or maybe one real big one. But I got plans for that here in the future. I'm gonna put that in the garage. And um, that'll be way down the line though. And I'm pretty sure like a uh, big shout out to Oddball Aquatics. They, she's gonna be my helper, my apprentice, my uh, right hand woman. And she's gonna be helping me out. Let's see. She's got a YouTube channel too. Check her out, Oddball Aquatics. But we uh, actually bagged up all these already. Getting ready for aquatic experience, doing shipments and all that stuff. So trying to stay on it. Got some water changing done. Still need to do some water changing. But yeah, I'm glad the rack's doing great too. I'm excited about it. Definitely making me want to build another one or build some more. Perry Marsh, thank you so much for the super chat. Wow, man. 20 bucks thrown down a big super chat. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for that. Said, put some money towards breeding more rainbows. I need some Dakai. Uh, I will definitely work on the Dakai more. I do got some of the Dakai growing out. I don't know if you're a Patreon, but the best way to get those kind of Dakais or those kind of rainbows is to be a Patreon's now. I haven't posted anything this last month just because of all the events, but all my Patreons, if you're listening and you are a Patreon because you do like the dibs and stuff like that, um, I got a ton of stuff I've been holding back for you guys. So stay tuned for that and you guys will have some cool stuff coming on up. Coming up. But here is the rack I want to get rid of and I think I'm going to go ahead and do something with those... Uh, tanks over there and just redo that whole thing which well, should be cool do you sell the dwarf neon rainbows i will hear sooner when i have some the thing with a lot of the rainbow fish too is they take forever to grow forever to grow and um but when i do have them ready i do sell them i'm sitting on a bunch of dwarf neons so all right i hope you guys enjoyed this video maybe you learned something and I will see you guys tomorrow, as always. And like, share, subscribe, and all that jazz. Until next time, everybody, peace, and have a great one. I got to get back to it. I definitely ain't going to bed tonight. It's going to be insanity, but it should be fun. Peace, everybody. Mm -hmm.